If you enjoy this video, be sure to like and share it and subscribe to our channel to get the latest from Acromag. This video will give you an understanding of the U.S. Military and NATO Communications Network, Military Standard 1553. The standard is a digital internal time division command response multiplex data bus. It's a military standard which has become one of the basic tools used by the U.S. Department of Defense for integration of weapon systems. The standard describes the method of communication and the electrical interface requirements for subsystems connected to the data bus. Since its introduction, Military Standard 1553 applications have extended to systems integration of flight controls, propulsion controls, and vehicle management, including electrical, hydraulic, and environmental controls. This is a U.S. military standard as well as a NATO standard, and it was first published by the United States Air Force in 1973. The standard defines a communications network that's used mostly in military vehicles. It's a differential serial bus with some similarities to CAN, and the MIL standard 1553 bus operates at a fixed 1 megabit per second rate. MIL Standard 1553 is a dual redundant data bus with three types of nodes. The first node is a bus controller. The second type of node is a remote terminal. And the third type of node is a bus monitor. Each node is connected to each of the redundant buses. If one of the buses should fail, communications can continue on the other working bus. There is only one bus controller in a 1553 bus. As its name indicates, the bus controller controls which remote terminal can communicate on the bus. The bus controller also initiates all message traffic, and it can command remote terminals to transmit or receive data, as well as pull remote terminals to check status. The remote terminal provides the interface between a 1553 bus and a subsystem. It can also be used to bridge to another 1553 bus. A remote terminal responds to messages received from the bus controller. Each remote terminal has its own unique address, and there can be up to 31 remote terminals on a 1553 bus. The third type of node is a bus monitor. It is a listener only and does not participate in message transfers. Typically, bus monitors are used as a message recorder or black box type function. The MIL standard 1553 bus is a fixed bit rate at 1 megabit per second. Communication is half duplex. The physical medium is a twisted shielded cable known as TwinX. It's terminated on each end with 78 ohm termination resistors. There are two methods for connecting a node to a bus. One is direct coupling, also known as short stub coupling. This method requires the node to be located within one foot of the bus. The second method is transformer coupling or long stub coupling. Here, the node can be located up to 20 feet away from the bus. This is the preferred method as it has improved signal integrity and fault tolerance. The MIL standard 1553 uses five different message types. Received data, transmit data, broadcast data, mode code, and remote terminal to remote terminal transfer. All messages are initiated by the bus controller and consist of one or more 16-bit word command status or data, and each word is preceded by a three microsecond sync pulse, followed by an odd parity bit. With received data messages, the bus controller sends one to 32 data words to a remote terminal and the selected remote terminal responds with a status word. For transmit data messages, the bus controller sends a 16-bit command word. Then the selected remote terminal responds with a 16-bit status word followed by 1 to 32 data words. When using broadcast data messages, the bus controller sends 1 to 32 data words and all the terminals accept the data, but no terminals respond. With mode code data messages, the bus controller sends a command word, followed by zero or one data words. And the selected remote terminal sends a status word, followed by zero or one data words. For remote terminal to remote terminal transfer, the bus controller sends a received data command to the receiving remote terminal, 
Then the bus controller sends a transmit command to the transmitting remote terminal. The transmitting remote terminal sends 1 to 32 data words to the receiving remote terminal. And lastly, the receiving remote terminal sends a status word. Military Standard 1553 is common in many applications, including tanks, submarines, ship control centers, missile system testing, air traffic control system testing, onboard aircraft system monitoring, aircraft simulators, satellite test systems, and the International Space Station. Acromag has several Military Standard 1553 products for you to choose from. Check out the links in the description below to learn more about the Acropac AP570 communication modules and the Industry Pack IP570 bus interface modules. Contact us for more information or order today. Visit our website at www.acromag.com and don't forget to share our video on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Click on these links to subscribe to our YouTube channel, learn more about Acromag, or learn more about Acromag products.